spot. Alright. Good boy. Um, his owner got very, very ill and went into the hospital. Good boy. And I, I wanna I wanna wonder if he hasn't had a lot of socialization. Yeah. He may have just been at that home. Yeah, he, he doesn't look like he's had much socialization, especially with other dogs. He's friendly, but he's he unsure. May, he may have been a one-person... He may have been a one-person dog. Come here, Spock. Come on, boy. He may have never been ventured out of, the, out yeah. of his area. Yeah. When a dog is... He obviously likes food, and, you know, he's very shy about coming to you even to get the food. Could have been that the old owners or whoever had him before used to call him by using food and then to get him near them so that they could discipline him, which is the exact opposite of what you're supposed to do. If you offer a dog food and then they come to you and you discipline them, then they're going to assume that going to a human means they're going to get punished. So he's fine. He's, uh, he just needs a little time and some training. Uh, nothing that a little tender loving care in, in, in a month of training with some treats and showing him that he doesn't have to fear uh, when you call him. Other than that, he's a pretty good dog. Here. Here. See, he's a little, little bit afraid. He doesn't really like to play much because he hasn't had the socialization background. So um, I think that a good place for him would be to go to a home with other dogs, at least one dog with some energy that uh, once he comes out of his shell, he's a border collie, he's going to run and he'll get, he'll get that confidence eventually. Um, this is what happens with rescue dogs that have been either abused or neglected. Um, just got to earn his trust is all. And that, you know, that might take a month. But and, he, I, uh, and I've earned it and it took me a couple days. Yeah, uh, I recommend a family with another pet for him. So there he goes. He's starting to warm up to me. Now again, this is Paul with Dog's Best Friend of Central Florida. I'm with the Dog Liberator. And this there. dog met me about two minutes ago for the first time. And all I've done is shown him a little love and attention. And he's already beginning to come to me. Yes, it's a good boy. It doesn't take long. So if you wanted to adopt this dog, take him to a loving household and show him that you're not going to hurt him. He's, he's going to be a good one. He's a good boy. There. See how easy that was? Yeah, you came to me. A little bit of food, the right energy, not a nervous or tense energy, yeah. just a relaxed energy with him, and uh, he's going to be fine. And he's not a nervous in your face border collie either. He's very calm. Come here, Spock. Come here, good boy. There, he's starting to come when he's called already. That's pretty good in just uh, two and a half minutes. Good boy. again with the Dog Liberator. These are two dogs that uh, haven't met each other up until about 30 seconds ago. And uh, we were thinking that, well this guy's real shy. This is Spock. He's kind of shy and reserved. He was in the last video we shot. And their personalities looked like they might mesh well together, so I thought we'd try them. And sure enough, uh, the shy little Miss Trixie Bell and this guy who's a little bit on the shy side seem to get along pretty well. At least he's acknowledging you her. Know, they, they were sniffing each other a minute ago and um, he was kicking the dirt trying to show that he's Mr. Macho, a tough guy, and he's got some confidence. See, this is what we want. We want him to build his confidence and sometimes the best thing to build a dog's confidence is another dog, not necessarily people. This is a good match right here. Male and a female. There he goes. Hey, he's sniffing. They're being social. This is good stuff. Yeah. He's, he's looking bright and, and attentive and not at all hesitant or shy. So, uh, and she's doing the same. They're just being two normal dogs, which is what we look for. Balance. We try to get balance in their minds and in their brains where they just um, are comfortable and relaxed. And there's no animosity, there's no arguing, fighting, no fear. This is it. They're, they're fine. I'm going to let in the other boy here now, too. Uh-oh. Here comes Tebow. Stay. 
everybody's good. And then we'll let Lucy come in too. Oh look, he was over at the fence. You missed it. Spock was over at the gate, sniffing Lucy for a bit. Yeah. They're all this first time they've all been together. Yes, he's never been with uh, Tim Tebow. Spock has never been with Tim Tebow before. And we gotta go mark territory. And show off. And show. And be manly. And here comes Tim Tebow. Mr. Calm and conservative and relaxed. Ooh, he likes her. Well, look at that. This is the first time he's really shown any spunk. He's never ever shown any attention at all to another dog. Don't answer. Wow, look at that. This is good stuff. He's never played, never showed any sign of wanting to play with a person or another dog. In the meantime, Tim Tebow here isn't even worried about anything. He's not paying no. attention. No, there's no, there's no game tonight. He's so. thinking of the Alabama game this Yeah, week. that's right. Yeah. He's conserving his energy. All right, let's let Lucy in and see what happens. Ooh, Look at that. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. This is good. This is the beginning stages of him playing. Look at that. Now he's hurting her. A little bit more aggressive than I'd like, but she's not seemed to be bothered too much, so that's okay. So this shows that he really can go with another dog yes. if it's the right dog. Yes. And we just work with him. All these dogs, all of them, all of these dogs are very easy to work with. Uh, and none of them have any issues that are real big problems that I see. Now that's a typical male, even though he's neutered. Yep. He's, he's had no confidence. So now no. he's found someone he can dominate. And that's basically what he's showing her is that I'm going to dominate you because you're the only one I can so far. Right. You know, everybody else has been dominating him. Right. So now he's got somebody he feels confident and comfortable around where he can be more aggressive and show he's powerful. So this is actually the first time then that all of these dogs have been in the same area together since you've had them all. Right? Yeah. Uh, I think Lucy and Tebow have been together before and that's there. That's about it. And then, of course, Trixie and Tebow have been together before. Yeah. Uh, but not all these four all together. And certainly, Spock has never been with any of them. Really? See, this is good. The this one is the first time he's ever been with another dog.